With the enhancement in the Microsoft Planner features, along with the tracking of assigned tasks, creation of new tasks, now Teams has got deeply integrated with Planner. Let's understand its utility with an example. Suppose you are having a discussion over a topic in Teams and as a manager, you want to review the status of the task of all your team members that are added in Microsoft Planner. How Planner will help you in this situation? Now, you can integrate an existing plan of Planner into Teams and keep track of all your tasks that you have assigned without switching between apps. Suppose you are having a discussion over a topic in Teams and as a manager you want to review the status of the task of all your team members that are added in Microsoft Planner. How Planner will help you in this situation? Now, you can integrate an existing plan of Planner into Teams and keep track of all your tasks that you have assigned without switching between apps. Planner app in Microsoft Teams lets you display all created tasks, assigned tasks. With the help of this integration, you will be able to review the status of the task from Microsoft Planner and have a discussion over it within Microsoft Teams. So this is how Teams and Planner works together. As of now, I have opened this channel video creation under this team, Fortran Cloud Production and this is my desktop application of Microsoft Teams. You can either use the desktop application or you can use the online version of Microsoft Teams as well. So this is my desktop application. Now to add a planner as a tab, I'll just go here and click on this add a tab option. An add a tab window will open from here. I'll select the option as planner. So we have Fortran Cloud Production as a team that associated with the same group. What's happening now is that it is taking the data from planner, bringing it to the teams. So you have fully sync plan and you can work on your Fortran Cloud Production board in teams or planner as you like. A planner window will pop up. Over here it's showing me two prompts. From this option I can either create a new plan and integrate it with my teams channel or I can use an existing plan. Like if a team has already existing plans, so you can select that plan and add it as a tab. So I want to use an existing plan. I'll click on this drop down to check whether this team has any existing plan or not. So it has shown me this plan. Fortran Cloud Production, I have selected this plan and after that just click on this option as save. So over here you can see this tab name as Fortran Cloud Production with this Teams channel video creation. You can see this task over here. So you can see the plan board has been integrated with my teams like this. You can chat on a teams planner from here. I'll show you how. Over here I'll mention Alan's name and we'll ask about the status of the task. So this is how. You and all of your team members can work upon any project in Teams channel and can also chat on those plans as well. Now I switch to my plan in my Microsoft Planner application and click on this plan name Fortran Cloud Production. So you can see all the task, all the activity has been synchronized with the plan in my Microsoft Planner application. Now suppose Neha has changed the status of this task from not started to in progress. Now we will check whether the changes have been reflected to the plan in teams or not. So you can see the status of this task have been changed from not started to in progress. So this is how the changes will reflect from the plan in Microsoft Planner to the plan in Microsoft Teams and vice versa. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. To get to know more about Microsoft Office 365 features, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Photon Cloud Academy. Thank, Thank you. you.